Bacteria Management The foundation of perfect health is in the balance of intestinal bacteria in the digestive tract. Bacteria management is critical for anyone who is interested in improving or regaining their health. Any health protocol that does not begin with the nurturing of the aerobic bacteria in the gut is doomed for failure. Everything can appear okay in the body, but if the ideal ratio between the good bacteria, aerobic, and the bad bacteria, anaerobic, is off, you are sick. And it's just a matter of time before symptoms will surface throughout your body, starting at your weakest points. The seriousness of controlling the balance of power in your gut cannot be overemphasized. Your health and even your life is determined by the bacteria in your intestinal tract. The bad bacteria can overtake your system and keep it from absorbing nutrients from the food you eat and you can become malnourished while eating plenty of good food. To find the facts about intestinal flora, we have to look at real science, not medical science, which for the most part is about disease care and not health care. Medical science does not concern itself with preventive measures for health. The focus is on prescribing drugs and surgeries to try and fix people after they get sick from abusing their bodies year after year. To look for real answers about health, we have to look at real scientists who understand how the body works. There are 500 different species of bacteria that live inside you with a total of 100 trillion bacteria. The human body only has 10 trillion cells. The ideal balance is an 85 to 15 percent ratio of good to bad bacteria. Your ratio determines whether you are healthy or sick. Most people have just the opposite of what they should have, which is why diseases like cancer, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, and all the other degenerative di diseases are increasing in America at an alarming rate. There are no cures for these diseases outside of balancing the intestinal bacteria. At best, drugs will only hide the symptoms, leaving behind the root cause of the symptom in the first place, a proliferation of anaerobic bad bacteria. The good bacteria is aerobic, which is oxygen loving, while the bad bacteria is anaerobic, oxygen hating. Good bacteria limits the growth of the bad bacteria, so if you don't have a high enough ratio of the good bacteria, your bad bacteria will flourish and overtake the good. The question arises, where do we get the good bacteria? Our ancestors got a lot of the good bacteria from the food they ate. Their food was grown organically, without pesticides, and they ate a lot of it whole, raw, and fresh. Today, most of the food eaten is bacteria-free, thanks to all the pesticides and herbicides that are used in food production. The foundation of the symbiotic lifestyle is the building of the three to five pounds of intestinal bacteria in the correct ratio. It takes a calm, deliberate, and patient protocol to reverse the course that most people are on. The correct balance is attainable, and those of us who have done it and are now living symbiotically are living proof that it can be done, and maybe more importantly, that it needs to be done. More so now than ever before, we as a society need to look at how far away from real health we are. We are no longer eating food, we are eating merchandise. We are looking to toxic synthetic chemicals for our health solutions instead of the whole raw organic foods that our bodies were designed to run on. It makes sense that if we are not getting the correct fuel we need, our bodies will break down. Allow us to guide you as you are being drawn to a balanced body ecology with all of its benefits. Your mind may ask, is true health really this simple? We say, yes, it is. This is the foundational step to take to regain perfect health.